Good day scuba divers of YouTube. Yes, that's right, this is the video you've all been waiting for. This is the video about the brand spanking new Sunso D5 dive computer. Now, you may have seen a video that we recently posted where we did a video log uh, of our trip to Nemo. We were there representing Mike's dive store, uh, but we headed over to Nemo uh, with a number of other UK dive retailers and some of the UK dive press um, to check out the new D5 to give it a bit of a run uh, in Nemo on two dives in the pool. Um, and just to sort of really get our hands-on view of what we was expecting to see in the launch come March uh, 2019. The D5 expected to launch around about the 11th of March 2019. Um, now after an awful lot of begging, stealing, borrowing and being an absolute pain in the neck, we were fortunate to, uh, enough to get a non-final production model to bring with us uh, to the beautiful Philippines. Sat in the Philippines now, uh, we are staying at Magic Oceans which is based at the bottom of Bohol in Anda. Uh, and I've been diving with it alongside my usual two dive computers which are both Sintos and big Sinto fan as you may have known uh, from previous videos. But I've been diving with the D5 alongside my Viper Air and also with the Eon Steel. So really I wanted to put them all uh, as a comparison and see how the D5 got on uh, against its uh, predecessors. Now, as I say, the D5 launches in March 2019. Uh, it's expected to be the 11th of March, somewhere around then. Um, and it is Sunto's latest weapon in its armory of dive computer stroke wearable uh, watch dive computers. Um, there are a, a number of dive computers which double up as watches uh, on the market these days uh, and this is Sunto's latest offering and what I believe by far the absolute best. Uh, the menu and functionality is exactly the same as what you would find in the Eon Core and the Eon Steel. Uh, so super easy to use. If you've ever used one of those you'll know how easy they are to navigate and, and to get through the menus. Uh, and as I've already said, big fan of those. I think they are some of the uh, uh, easiest and most simple uh, edit proof uh, menus out there. Now this is a recreational dive computer which comes in four main skew options. There's a silver bezel, white body, white strap, silver bezel, black body, black strap, and then there is a black face, black body, black strap, and then the black face, black body, lime strap, which is the one that we have here and been, have been diving with. Although it comes with an absolute myriad of different uh, strap options, which I'm going to cover in just a minute because it's a key thing that I want to call out. Right, I hear you all asking, what are the main features of the D5? Right, well, let me tell you. Not only will the unit provide air, nitrox, gauge, free dive modes, uh, it would also uh, double up as a watch uh, that allows users to show uh, a, a digital watch face as well as an analog style uh, watch face, so like an old fashioned uh, watch face. Um, it weighs in at 90 grams only and it's got a rechargeable lithium ion battery uh, which is charged the same way as the Eon Core. So if you saw our Eon Core video uh, about a year ago, it's always got a USB cable on one end uh, and on the other it's got the um, four pin charging with the two magnets which slots at the back of the dive computer in very much the same way as the Eon Core does. It's water resistant to 100 meters. It's got a full color MIP display, which during the dive uh, displays like a colored arch uh, on the dive face, uh, which illustrates key information uh, like deco time, uh, tank pressure, direction, uh, and also if you've got a timer running. Uh, and it's also got an adjustable LED backlight. It's got wireless connectivity via Bluetooth, which connects to a brand spanking no Sunto app, which is available to download at the time of launch of the D5. You cannot download it until the D5 is launched, but this is a brand new app from Sunto for the D5. Uh, it's also got a very cool vibration alarm, uh, which they call Viber in the settings, which uh, makes the unit vibrate on the user's wrist when you hit a uh, specific um, depth. So if you set a depth alarm or you've got a deep stop set or you, when you hit your safety stop, the unit will vibrate on your wrist telling you that it's time that it's doing an action or it's time to take an action, uh, which is actually quite nice rather than the audible beeping that you hear quite often. It allows you to see wireless tank pressure readings for up to three pods. It's got user updatable software and customizable dive settings which you can set in DM5 in very much the same way that you can with the Eon Core and the Eon Steel. It's got 18 language options and as most dive computers these days it's got a tilt compensated 3D digital compass. But there are two key selling points which I really want to call out as I think this is what sets the Sunto D5 apart from anything else on the market currently. 
Number one, the D5 comes with user changeable straps. There's a small spring-loaded pin on the back of the strap which allows the user to change the strap in a matter of seconds. I believe there are 28 colour options ranging in uh, varied colours, materials and designs. Uh, the rubber dive straps come in different lengths, so you've got a short length one if you are just using uh, a thin wetsuit or using it on your skin. Uh, and then there is also a longer strap if you wanted to use it with a dry suit and you've got a thicker circumference to go around. Um, there is also a NATO style material strap and then there's also some leather strap options if you wanted to use the D5 as a wearable watch uh, outside of diving. To stress you cannot get the leather straps wet, they are not for diving uh, and the best way to, to tell the difference between what's a dive strap and what's a non-dive strap is the dive straps have a thick buckle pin, whereas the non-dive straps have a thinner, a thinner buckle pin. Um, they have stress tested the thick buckle pin uh, and they don't come away from the strap when they're twisted or bent. Um, so that's the best way for you to, to tell the two apart. But there is literally something for anyone. Uh, there's a colour, an option or a material to suit everyone's needs. Uh, and two, Sunto have upgraded their algorithm to the Sunto Fuse 2 RGBM decompression model. Now this is a huge big positive for me because they've clearly reacted on customer feedback. I think a lot of divers out there in the past have, uh, have, have given feedback that the uh, algorithms on uh, the Sunto products uh, wasn't as good as some of its competitors. So clearly Sunto have acted on that feedback as they wanted to improve the dive experience of their customers and, uh, and their dive computer users. Uh, here I had the D5 and my own Sunto still set to the same dive setting and as you can see the D5 was offering me longer no dive limits. This was evident on the majority of dives uh, and incidentally the Fuse 2 RGB model will be available as a firmware upgrade for the Sunto E on steel later this year so keep your eyes peeled for that. One of my absolute favourite things about the DM5 is the switch window values which is shown at the bottom of the dive computer screen. Now you can customise what values are shown in DM5 and there are 23 values and options for you to choose from uh, which allow you to set what information you see on your dive yourself which I think is a really really great idea. And last point I'll add on is about battery life. Uh, now, just to stress, we have been diving with a pre-final production model here, um, but expect to get seven days of battery life if you're using the dive computer as a watch, and up to two days worth of diving if you're using the Sunto D5 as a dive computer um, before you'll need to charge it again. So around about seven days uh, as a watch and two days worth of diving, which I don't think it is, which really isn't that bad. And obviously with the uh, USB charging, um, Cable, you know, a lot of people these days have portable power packs, or you can plug it into a laptop, or you can plug it into a, a plug adapter. Uh, it charges very, very quickly indeed. Honestly, I absolutely love this dive computer. I was a big fan of the Eon Core when it came out. It was a big upgrade on the bulky Eon Steel. Um, but the D5 ticks so many boxes as a wearable dive computer stroke watch. I think a lot of people that were that either have a D6 or a D4, or even a D9 to an extent, uh, will be looking to upgrade to this. And those that were in the market for a new dive computer will definitely be looking at, uh, at purchasing one of these. I, for one, will be replacing my very old and aging Viper Air. It's done many, many dives with me, but I think it's about time it had an upgrade. Uh, I just don't know which colour I'm going to get yet. Uh, and talking of which, price-wise, the silver bezel dive computer, um, it retail will have an RRP of £545, and the black will have a retail recommended price of 595 all four options are available to pre-order now at mike's dive store uh, and they will be available to buy from launch which is around as i say march the 11th so go over check it out go and try them on um, as always guys if you have seen this video and it's made you go and buy one and you're using it would love to hear in the comments below what you think what your thoughts are uh, or if you've bought a d5 and you stumbled across this video i would love to hear what you think about the fuse 2 rgbm and how you're getting on with the menus it's always good to have that interaction and if you like this video give it a thumbs up please do um, add the comments as I said and as always guys click on that subscribe button we have got an absolute ton of video reviews coming up and there's loads in the pipeline which I would love to share with you but until then till the next time I will speak to you all soon goodbye from me goodbye from the Philippines and take care see ya